Hi, it's Kristen from Six Sister Stuff, and today I am making spooky spider cupcakes. But they're actually really not spooky, they're actually pretty cute. So it's really, really easy. All you have to do is make cupcakes. I just got a box cake mix and I decided to make mini cupcakes because I thought spiders would be pretty cute being little. So you can do a regular size cupcake or mini cupcakes. Um, and all you're going to do is you're going to frost them with chocolate frosting because you want your spiders to be brown. And also I used a white uh, cupcake liner because you want to be able to see through it so, so it looks all the way brown. Okay, so it doesn't have to be fancy or anything. Then you're going to dip it in some chocolate sprinkles because spiders have some texture to them. All right, then the fun part begins. So you can either use your chocolate frosting or I just got some cookie icing because it just comes all ready to go with a little tiny lid so it will be a lot easier to squeeze out. So this is how I'm going to do my eyes. So I'm going to actually cut one of these mini marshmallows in half just with my finger and then put some green frosting on. It doesn't matter what color it is because it will be hidden and just stick some eyeballs on. Alright, so there's the white of the eyeballs. And then I got some mini M&Ms and you can pick whatever colors you want. You can do red eyes for a little scarier or blue or green, whatever you like. So we're going to go red just because it is a Halloween spider. I know, that one has showing the M. Make sure the M, you cannot see it. <laughs> oh, that one doesn't have an M. Okay. Grab another red one. Okay, so there's my spider's eyes. And then for the legs, all I did was take some licorice peel ice cream, or ice cream, some licorice, the, the fun peel kind, so it just peels off so easy. And so I cut them into about either an inch to a half an inch. It doesn't really matter because it will be cute either way. So then you just want to stick your legs through. It doesn't have to be fancy as long as they stay. You can do them longer and they'll hang down a little more, but I kind of like them shorter. Four legs on each side, because yes, spiders do have eight legs. And there you have it, our spooky spider cupcake. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, if you would like to find more recipes like this, check out SixSisterStuff.com. Thanks.